child. I had her when I was still in school. My first child was just eight months when I took her. Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, you're highly welcome. Please join this amazing family by subscribing to my channel, turning on your post notification bell to get notified whenever I post a so guys, today I'm here to share with you all ways on how to overcome postpartum depression. Please note, I am not a psychotherapist, I am not a psychiatrist, I am not a health practitioner. I'm saying this based, or I'll be saying this based on my research. I was once a victim of um, postpartum depression, so now I've made my findings and I am here to share with you all. But before I dive in, I would like to explain what postpartum depression is. It is a clinical depression that is associated with pregnancy and childbirth. It is more common than you think. In some cases, it goes away after three months, and in most cases, it's never good. Believe me, being a mom can be wonderful and tough at the same time. You've got a lot of challenges and a lot of less sleep. You may feel emotional and sometimes overwhelmed. So that is why I'm here to explain to you all some of the things that can lead to postpartum depression. Number one is past depression. If you've been depressed in the past, you are likely to fall into postpartum depression. And the second on the list is a traumatic life event during pregnancy. Maybe the, your pregnancy journey didn't go well, didn't go smooth. It, you may likely fall into postpartum depression. And the next one is no strong support system. Believe me, when you are pregnant or after your childbirth and you don't have a strong support system, believe me, you might fall into depression. And the next on the list is issues with the baby's health. After giving birth and your baby keeps falling sick or your baby's health is not in order, you might fall into postpartum depression because you'll just be walking up and down, just be going to the looking for help and that can lead to postpartum depression. So the next on the list is not betting your desired gender. In a case whereby you have um, two girls or you have um, three girls and you get pregnant hoping to deliver a baby boy and you end up giving giving birth to a baby girl, it can cause, that can cause postpartum depression. And the next on the list is alcohol or drug abuse. If you are a drug addict, it is likely, or there is a 99% chance for you to fall into postpartum depression. So once your little one is here, just get help from supportive friends and family. Nap often, stay rested, eat a healthy diet, and get your regular. Now, the ways on how to overcome postpartum depression number one is exercise when you can. Exercising is very, very, very important. And walking was found to be a statistically significant way to ease depression. Working out for 10 minutes a few times a day during the day can actually help you to ease postpartum depression. The next on the list is maintain a healthy diet healthy eating alone won't cure postpartum depression yes try planning the week's meal on the weekend and even preparing healthy snacks ahead of time so the next on the list is create time for yourself you can seek help from your mom your mother-in-law or your partner you can even seek from an adult you trust to help you babysit for an hour or two you can use this time to decompress go on a walk take a nap Go to a movie or do some yoga and meditation. It is very important. You need rest. Like, believe me, when you are engrossed to your child, like when you are so, when you are so attached, or when you, you, you might, you might go crazy. Believe me. Yes, it happened to me. So this brings me sharing my experience with you all. When I had my um, second child, I had her while I was still in school. My first child was just eight months when I took him for my second. It was just me, believe me. It was just me and my husband, of course. My husband is a business man. He's a very busy person. So it was just me. Like, there was no help. My mom was not around as at that time. And having that thought, remembering that I'm going to school, I'm resuming back to school with an eight-month child and pregnancy, like, and being pregnant. I almost ran mad. Like, I was like, God. How can I do this? Like, how will I cope? How will I survive? How? How will I study? How will I pass? I will like I was so down. I had to call my mom. I explained to her, and she was like, "It's fine. That she's going to come around." My mom came around. She took my daughter and told me to go to school. I went to school without my baby, and 
I did just fine, believe me. That's why I said we really need to create time for ourselves. We, need, we, we really need to seek for help because it might look easy or it might sound easy, but it is not easy. Being a mom is not easy. Being a mom is not a, a, a child's play. So the next on the list is focus on fish oil. I know you might be wondering what's fish oil, what do you mean by fish oil? Like I said, I made my research. And according to an article published by the Journal of Affective Disorders, who have low levels of DHA, if you're a vegetarian, like if you have low level of DHA, you might fall into postpartum depression. That is why it is important for you to focus on fish oils. You can go to the pharmacy, you can go to the hospital to ask them or to order for fish oil. Yeah, it is very, very. So the next on the list is examine your breast feeding. It's a study suggests that breastfeeding may reduce your risk of developing postpartum depression. If nothing is something you enjoy, then go for it. Just go for it. There's some women that enjoy breastfeeding. And so, now that being said, that being said, there are some cases where women develop postpartum depression while breastfeeding. And this condition is called Dysomorphic milk. You might experience sudden feelings of sadness, sudden feelings of agitation or anger that last several minutes after your milk lets down. At the end, just go for a breastfeeding, just go for a, um, a feeding method that is suitable for you. I don't know if you understand. If you want to, but if you prefer butter feeding, go for it. If you prefer breastfeeding, go for it. Just go for what is best. Next on the list is resist isolation. Believe me, you won't enjoy being alone, especially after childbirth. You will not enjoy being alone. So it is advisable for you to call a friend, go out, meet people, bring people, accept help. You need help. You need all the help. But if you isolate yourself from others, from people, you might fall into postpartum depression. In fact, there is a 99% chance of you falling into postpartum depression. Guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. Are you a mom? Are you a new mom? Have you experienced postpartum depression or you are currently experiencing postpartum depression? Please kindly share with me in the comment section and let's continue this conversation in the comment section and I'll be there and I'll be available to reply to you all. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video, and I'll see you in my next one. For now, bye!